Three years ago, Champagne and Ajak First Nation members embarked on a canoe journey from Haines, Alaska to Juneau in a traditional Klingit dugout canoe. It was a life-changing journey for the paddlers. After that trip, the paddlers realized a larger and longer dugout canoe would be safer on the ocean. Now, three years later, a sacred cedar log is being transformed, and as the pile of wood chips grow, the smell of cedar fills the air. This, you know, tree um, has its own spirit and has its own uh, has its own way. It's almost something that comes from a long time ago as well. It's almost like, uh, you know, it, 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 I think it's in our cell memory. I think it's in our, you know, it's in our, the core of who we are. Smith loves the smell of cedar. It reminds him of the Pacific Northwest and of reuniting with his coastal Klingit relatives in Alaska. Smith says it's all about giving young people the opportunity to experience their culture and a place of belonging. Much of our culture was sort of still you know, hidden in the back room and, and now, you know, for these young people, they get to explore it and, and be a part of it and, and grow it as well. So um, I think it's amazing opportunity for them. Master Carver Wayne Price is sharing his knowledge of ancient dugout canoes. He taught himself how to carve after studying surviving dugout canoes from the past. It has become his passion. He's spending his summer in Haines Junction teaching the youth about building dugout canoes in the traditional way. I am involved with 13 dugouts now and I've never seen anything that grabs and get, makes a person change their lives like indigenous watercraft. As the students carve the vessel out of the massive log, they forge a deep connection to the cedar tree it once was. Kasha says the tree is sacred. It's waited its whole life to come here, and now it's here. And we have to, tr we have to be respectful around this grandfather, grandmother. She knows exactly who we are and exactly what we're doing. How's it going? Kishaw says he's deeply honored to be able to work with Price. So we have a lot of young people, myself included, who have never done this. I've never done this. And so for him to be able to take people who have never held one of these before to working on a 30-foot dugout is absolutely amazing. It's it's mind-blowing that he's endeavored to do this, and he's here every day, seven days a week. Work on the Champagne and Ajak First Nations Red Cedar Dugout Canoe will continue until the late fall. Price says it will then be honored next spring in a maiden voyage from Haines, Alaska to Juneau for Klingit celebration. A cultural gathering normally held every two years with indigenous people coming from Alaska and Canada. Mike Rudick, CBC News, Haines Junction.